up, everybody? It's Ivan with Trout's Fly Fishing back with the forecast for July 2nd. <clears throat> we are post runoff. Uh, runoff was not as big as it was typically. We have lower water than we should, seeing the time of year it is. We have had this nice stretch of cooler weather, and if you look at the forecast for the next 10 days, we're going to continue to see some lower temperatures. We're not seeing those mid to upper 80s, 90s, hundreds marks, which is nice. There are some, uh, some of our fellow anglers in some of the other Rocky Mountain states that have seen quite a bit of heat in the recent days. So we're certainly pleased to see this forecast coming up. Lots of PM thunderstorms you know, coming through like today, Monday, Tuesday, Sunday. Those PM thunderstorms are very welcome. We got caught in one just filming five flies last week. Those are going to help keep water temperatures down. They're going to help keep a little bit more water in the system. That's a positive thing. Uh, so look, look forward to those PM thunderstorms. I, I certainly am. We want a, a monsoonal summer this, this year. Uh, because if we're being honest, uh, there's some colder, there's some warmer water and lower flows, uh, specifically on the Colorado, than we'd like to see, specifically for this time of year. But you don't want to see low flows or you know, high water temps at any time. But you know, this year it's happening earlier than we would expect. You know, obviously when they bump those upstream tailwaters that are holding colder water, that will bring the water temps down. And we saw that a little bit uh, around Kremlin, but uh, now those water temps are starting to rise a little bit again because the, the, the flows are so low. Uh, so it's something you have to be aware of. You know, the Eagle's still fishing well, the Arkansas is fishing well. Those are still obviously lower than they should be, uh, but we, are, we aren't into the danger zone yet with uh, higher water temps. So uh, keep that in mind. You know, make sure you have a thermometer when you're getting out there. You, know, you want to cut off you know, fish in you know, 65, 66, 67. That's uh, like sort of your, green, your yellow light, and when it gets above that, it's a red light. It's a, find some other fish, you know, some bass, some carp, some pike. Find some other fish. You know, maybe you know, fish still waters, fish the you know, high country. There's a lot of great options. You just sort of have to mix it up a little bit this this year because of the low water. So, uh, getting into the high country, we fix some flies that will work up there in the high country. Uh, but you know, early mornings are going to be key. You know, sort of hoot owl yourself a little bit. Um, you know the classic hoot owl restrictions. Hoot owl yourself a little bit for those free stones. You know, getting out early is always going to be beneficial. You know, you're going to see more bug life. You're going to see happier fish when those water temperatures are uh, a little bit more tolerable for them. The tailwaters are, are fishing well. Uh, that's a, I'd focus on tailwaters. I'd focus on uh, still waters. Focus on high country if you're looking to get after trout uh, this holiday weekend. So uh, that's, that's my two cents. You know, take it or leave it, but uh, that's, that's where we stand right now. So Let's talk, get into it. Let's talk bugs, flows, and weather. Talking bugs, I'm going to start with the streamer, baby ganga in black. Baby ganga, you know, it's, it's fun to throw big articulated stuff. Uh, you're fishing, if say fishing the Arkansas or the Eagle, you're fishing something a little bit smaller. You're going to, you're going to run into more fish um, because of the smaller profile. It's not going to sort of scare off fish. We're not seeing the super high flows so uh, you know using a bigger streamer I like in that in the higher flows when the flows get a little bit lower I like to throw something smaller uh, baby ganga fish uh, swims well have confidence in it it's another craven pattern I feel like we pick craven pattern all the time because that dude ties good flies speaking of craven patterns PMDs are around uh, so w when we're talking hatches this time of year we have golden stones caddis Yellow sallies, green drakes, PMDs. You're gonna see, you know, some blueing olives still around. Uh, yellow sallies, if I didn't mention them. There's a lot of, of stuff around. So, you know, the PMD nymphs, those little mayflies, are gonna be present uh, throughout the summer, and you know we're gonna start to see trichos soon enough. But the PMDs, I love fishing uh, below an indicator or as a dropper. Uh, this little juju PMD uh, is a great little fly has that little flash. Juju obviously is a great series of flies and the PMD is no exception to that rule. So uh, we did get a bunch of flies. I don't know if you guys saw on Instagram, but we got a bunch of flies from Oakwood in. Uh, so we're back filled to the brims with chubbies. So get them while they're hot. While they're hot. I grabbed the olive, great dry dropper. 
if you're going up to the high country, you can fish in the smaller sizes in the on the you know bigger rivers, fish in the little bit bigger sizes. Uh, if you're fishing you know creeks and stuff like that, you know, whatever a fish can fit in its mouth, they're generally going to like this uh, this bug. So holds flies up really well. I would pair that say with a jigged rainbow warrior. I think we've I've talked about it a couple times now. Really been loving jigged flies underneath as a dropper fly for a dry dropper rig. You know, I was talking to Russ Miller from Umpqua the other day about why f fish eat certain flies. And we were talking specifically about the Rainbow Warrior. And he said, you know, you're not looking for, and I think this applies to everything, you're not looking for a yes, you're looking for a maybe. You want those fish to say, ooh, what's that? Well, maybe that's food. And they just have a moment of weakness and they eat it. You know, you can't necessarily completely, like that doesn't imitate really anything. It sort of looks like a mayfly, I guess, but it doesn't really imitate anything that they're not, they're going to see in the natural world, but it grabs their attention enough for like, Ooh, I haven't had that before. Maybe that's food. Uh, I've sat there and watched fish feed in the mid column, upper column, and they'll eat stuff that isn't, is aren't bugs. Uh, they're simply looking for maybes. Is that, is that food? Is that protein? Maybe I'll eat it. Sort of like how I eat when I eat a pizza. Is that good pizza? Maybe we'll have to see. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'll cut that out, who knows. Uh, also for the PMD, so PMD is coming off mid-morning, early afternoon, uh, extended body. I always like the blue wing variant of this, but the PMD variant, also very good option. Um, you know, you're gonna see those duns on the water. They're gonna be drying their wings seven to 10 minutes after they hatch. And they're, so they're easy pickings as they float down, uh, you know, in that diamond chop, that super, you know, the softer water, you'll see them in the riffles as well. Uh, so, you know, it's a, Easy target for fish. Uh, that's why I like fishing PMDs this time of year. If you're going to the high country, it's hard to go wrong with a glitter ant. So this is a cinnamon gl glitter ant. Uh, this is uh, Alex Cass's, one of Alex Cass's favorite high, high country flies. So uh, if you're going to the high country, glitter ant, uh, it's hard to beat, have that in your arsenal. So there we go. That's flies, I mean bugs. Let's get to flows. Uh, let's talk flows. Looking at the Colorado, that's super, super low. Uh, obviously, we hope to see some of those upstream tailwaters uh, flows rise, and as a result, the flows in the Colorado will bump. Uh, the Eagle is still higher uh, than base flow, but it is lower than it should be this time of year. But it's still in a nice fishable zone. Same with the Arkansas. Uh, the tailwaters, we saw a bump on the Dream Stream, which is a good thing, throwing big flies big subsurface flies, and even throwing some chubbies, uh, you can you can run into some, some nice fish this time of year when they bump the flows there. Uh, 11 Mile has bumped a little bit, which is good, uh, and then below Cheeseman, I think it's coming in around 79. Uh, so not terrible flows. Uh, the water temperatures have been uh, pretty good up there, uh, so I would definitely consider the tailwaters. I know the blue below Silverthorn is bumping as well. That means uh, time to throw mysis if you're, if you're into that kind of thing, if you're into big rainbows. Mices are always good. So flows are good, they're okay, not great, not, but they're not terrible. They could be worse, um, but they, there are certainly places that I would avoid, uh, namely the Colorado, the lower Colorado, the middle Colorado, uh, pretty much would be no-goes for me at this point um, until we see some changes in flows. Obviously, if we see some consistent afternoon rains, uh, we'll see those flows start to steady out and normalize a little bit, hopefully. Uh, so, you know, pray for, do your rain dance, pray for rain. Uh, we do have some nice, nice, cool, calm weather uh, ahead, so that's, that's a positive thing. Um, so sh we shouldn't see huge spikes in temperatures, but hopefully we'll see some uh, bumps in flows. So uh, that's flows, let's get to weather. Let's get to weather. So, uh, looking at the forecast for Vail and Deckers as we normally do, we're seeing some pretty nice summer weather uh, in the next 10 days. You know, in Vail, highs never hitting above 83 over the next 10 days with some, you know, PM th thunderstorms mixed in. Down here at Deckers, highs not hitting above 85. Uh, for the most part, we're going to be in the 
upper low to, or sorry, mid to upper 70s, low 80s. Um, that's great. That's great news. With the low water year that we we are experiencing, it, if we combine it with some hellacious warm <laughs> weather, that wouldn't be great. Uh, so to have this nice stretch, we've had a, the last couple of weeks have been uh, pretty pleasant. But this nice stretch is going to be a positive thing for our fisheries to you know sort of extend that really good fishable season and hopefully uh, maintain a healthy fisheries th uh, going through this summer and into the fall. Uh, so. You know, we'd like to see that kind of weather on the forecast. Hopefully that rings true and we don't get uh, a huge, huge heat wave. But yeah, that's, that's weather. Appreciate you guys tuning in. As always, you can come see us in the Denver shop or up in Frisco on Main Street. Uh, online, troutsflyfishing.com. Have a good 4th of July. Stay safe out there. Yeah, uh, yeah. Okay, bye.